Hi guys, uh, today we're going to go through how to set up Microsoft Outlook uh, 27, 2010 or 2013 to access your Gmail email account via the IMAP protocol. Now yesterday I showed you how to do it with uh, POP3 protocol. Uh, IMAP is basically the same, it's, uh, it's a little different uh, in terms of uh, how the folders are set up and how it accesses the email. Um, IMAP, IMAP is really good if you've got multiple devices uh, that you want to read your email on. Uh, POP3 is good for a single PC or device that uh, you access your email with. Uh, IMAP is stored, all the email and folders are stored on the server, on the remote server, and you just basically download them to your device and it's uh, everything synced up. Alright, so for this guide uh, all you need is your Gmail email address and password. Uh, that's the same details you use to log into uh, to Gmail. Uh, obviously you're going to need Microsoft Office uh, 27, 2010 or 2013 installed on your PC and a pen and paper to take notes. Uh, now before we can configure uh, Outlook we've got to log into Gmail and uh, change some settings there so I'll log into my account and you log into yours okay so at the uh, the main page in uh, Gmail just uh, top right hand corner you'll see the little gear icon just click that on and then choose the settings menu item now make sure that you've got the view settings in Gmail set to standard view because uh, these settings won't be uh, available if you've got basic HTML view alright so just switch to standard view if you're in basic now uh, we're in the settings window here click the forwarding and pop IMAP tab item and scroll down a little bit the heading we're after is the IMAP access heading and these are the settings that uh, we've got to customize um, regardless of what the IMAP setting is uh, when you log in uh, click the enable IMAP there All right, on that first setting uh, the second setting when I mark a message in IMAP as deleted you can choose to auto expunge on which means it immediately updates the server uh, or auto expunge off, wait for the client to update the server. Uh, I'd recommend leaving the first setting selected. Uh, expunge means uh, move to the deleted items folder basically. Uh, third option here, when a message is marked as deleted and expunged from the last visible iMac folder, uh, the first option is the best option, archive this message because you don't want to um, delete messages uh, unless they're spam um, but you don't want to permanently delete any messages anymore because uh, Google offers a large amount of, um, of storage for your, all your emails. Uh, folder size limits which is the fourth, fourth option down here. Um, the first option leave that uh, selected uh, unless you have a specific reason to limit the amount of messages in each item that folder uh, then you can choose 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 or 10,000 uh, but uh, I would just leave the first one uh, selected. Now before you go anywhere click the save changes button down the bottom. Okay so that, that finishes the uh, Gmail settings let's move on to um, Outlook settings now. Uh, now I'll just quickly show you how to get to the uh, the page in Outlook um, from two different viewpoints. Uh, the first is for a brand new uh, Outlook that hasn't been uh, opened before. Okay, you come up with this uh, startup page. Um, so we just click next to that. We we'll leave it selected at yes for configure an email account. Now when we get to the auto account setup page we actually want to select the manually configure server settings down the bottom there and then click next leave it selected at internet email 
and then we're on the internet email settings page. That, this is the page we're after. So I'll show you how to get there in 2007 because we still have the menu bar for that one. Um, just click the tools menu item up the top there and then account settings and you'll see the new button there. Click new. Leave the first option selected and then down the bottom on the second page you'll see the manually configure server settings down there. Select that and click next. Leave it selected at internet email and we're on the internet email settings page the one we're after. Now 2010 and 2013 is a little different. It's a bit easier actually. Uh, this is 2013. Just click the file tab and make sure the info uh, tab is selected and you'll see the add account button there. So we click that on. Now we automatically come up to the auto account setup page select the manual setup or additional server types down the bottom there and click next. Uh, now for this option, so a little different than previous, uh, select the pop or IMAP option down there, third option from the top and click next and then we're on the internet email settings page. So now we'll go through how to uh, set it all up. Okay, onto the settings page now. Uh, first option obviously put your name in there email address, your full gmail email address uh, now under server information account type uh, select IMAP now gmail's incoming mail server is imap.gmail.com and the outgoing server is smtp.gmail.com Now Outlook automatically uh, fills half of your email address in the username field here. Uh, we need to complete that so we put the at gmail there. Uh, that's really important because otherwise it won't work. Um, put your password in and leave the uh, remember password box checked and we also leave the test account settings by clicking the next button checked. Uh, before we click next uh, on, uh, also make sure the SPA uh, secure password authentication is not checked. Okay. Uh, we click the more settings button on the bottom right hand corner and click the outgoing server tab and we select the My Outgoing Server Requires Authentication and we leave it at the first option selected which is use same settings as my incoming mail server. Now we click the Advanced tab. Now incoming server IMAP we want to change that number to 993 and just underneath that you'll see use the following type of encrypting connection. This is really important. You must choose SSL there otherwise it won't work. Alright, so don't choose auto. Um, choose SSL. Now outgoing server type. Um, choose 587 because that is the um, uh, the latest protocol and for this one we can choose auto. Uh, unfortunately it changes the port number back so we'll have to uh, put 587 in there again uh, and select auto. Now server timeouts uh, increase that to about five minutes All right, otherwise you could have some problems there. Five minutes and just double check your settings first port 993 type of connection SSL outgoing server 587 encrypted connection type auto and then uh, server timeouts five minutes so we click OK to that now we can click next and Outlook will test logging on to the incoming mail server as you can see right there it's completed and now it'll send a test message to the outgoing server and that's been completed and, and tested so hopefully you've got two green ticks as well if you have you can click the close 
and you'll see the congratulations uh, uh, window come up. If you've got one or two red crosses you need to go back and double check all your settings and make sure they're right. Okay, but uh, hopefully you're, you've been successful and you'll have the congratulations page come up there. Click finish. Now there's a few other pop-ups that will come up. Um, Outlook is not currently your default mail program. Uh, obviously if you want it to be your default mail program then click yes. Um, the next one that will come up will be to do with updates. Now um, just be, be aware if you choose that that the first option they use recommended settings it will change any Windows update settings to that as well okay um, but uh, you can you can certainly change it to install updates only and you should be right and that is it guys so uh, any trouble or if you have any questions leave them in the comments but otherwise uh, you should be good to go cheers